In the last episode, we sailed from Puerto Refugio north up the Sea of Cortez to Puerto Peñasco. The plan was to haul Taku out of the water and get some boat jobs done before our Pacific crossing in the spring. Once we arrived, we turned on the engine to anchor before our hollow. We noticed a really bad vibration in the engine. The shaft coupling had broken and two of the motor mounts broke. Couplers broke. We got to repair to make. Uh -oh. Good time, man. Dropping our dinghy and side towing Taku into the slings wasn't an option because we'd have nowhere to leave the dinghy while in the boatyard. Luckily, our friends Paul and Hazel towed us right into the slings to make our hollow appointment on time. This felt like the worst timing for this to happen, but realistically, it was probably the best because now we'd be hauled out of the water in the boatyard with the time and resources to address the issues. What happened here? Explosion. <laughs> Luckily, we were able to find it on Defender. Luckily, it broke the day before we haul out, so we can get it shipped here and get it installed before we get in the water. On sale. And it's on sale. The biggest project on our list was to remove the bowsprit. We noticed it was starting to delaminate, so we needed to take it apart to relaminate the wood. The first step was taking off all of the hardware. Because the mast would no longer be supported by the bowsprit, we tied off the inner forestay halyard to our windlass to support the rig. Once we had all of the hardware removed, the next step was to drop the bowsprit. With the bowsprit now successfully removed, we could start peeling back the paint to take a better look at the delamination. Not too bad. All right, Curtis, looks like you found the other piece for our new bowsprit. Pretty good, eh? Yeah, it looks great. <laughs> That's a joke, it's totally a joke. So, do you think we're gonna have to replace the whole bowsprit or just re epoxy it? I think it looks pretty good. The bottom looks alright. So, we'll sand it down and see how bad it is. But hopefully, we can just fill it with some epoxy, maybe put a bolt in to hold it from delaminating again, and put it back. Nice. Right, so, it's looking better than we thought, hey? Eh? Yeah, it looks good. By peeling back all the layers of paint, Curtis could now see clearly where the delamination started and also where it stopped. Just slap it back together. Oh, I gotta burn it just so you can do it every year. No. Once all of the paint was removed and the beautiful Douglas fur was revealed, it was pretty hard to think that we had to slap another layer of white paint. But the thought of having to varnish the bowsprit every year was just something we were not into. Okay. 
After two layers of epoxy around the entire bowsprit and some epoxy primer, the bowsprit eventually looked like this. The boatyard wasn't all work though. I left Curtis in the boatyard and flew from Phoenix, Arizona back to Vancouver Island to surprise my family. My mom was waiting for me at the airport and I was so, so excited to be back to visit my family, visit my friends, and to be back on Vancouver Island. Can't see from back there. <laughs> oh my god. <laughs> <laughs> I'm filming you. <laughs> it felt so good to be back home on Vancouver Island. This was the first time I'd been back home to visit since leaving almost two years ago. I spent 12 incredible days with my family and friends. I knew that saying goodbye after this was not going to be easy. Before I knew it, and after quite a lot of hard goodbyes, I was already on a plane back to the boatyard. I came back to the boatyard with a few spare parts, four shiny new engine mounts. So it was time for us to get back to work and get the engine back in tip top shape. To get the broken engine mounts out, we used a halyard to hoist up our engine. This was also very helpful for realigning the engine. And Curtis is gonna put it on a winch to hoist up the engine. Cause you want the exhaust pipe like on the cutting board, right? Yeah. So quite a bit more. Actually, I think that's as far as you can go without squishing the cables. Maybe another crank and a half. You got some motor mount? The next thing on our list was to drop all of our anchor chain and drive it about three and a half hours to Mexicali to be regalvanized. Where are we headed? We are on our way to Mexicali, so we rented this car for the day and we are dropping off our chain and another cruiser's chain to get regalvanized. So there's a place here that's highly recommended. You drop it off and it takes a week and your chain gets regalvanized and it's like you got a bunch of new chain. So that's what we're doing today. We dropped off the chain and it wasn't going to be ready for another two weeks. Luckily the other cruisers had agreed to pick up our chain for us so we only had to drive one way. We are on our way back right now. Definitely a pretty long day trying to go to Mexicali and back. We got back in the evening and dropped off our rental car. We were pretty impressed that little Toyota carried all that chain the whole way. 
crunch time. Now it was time to put some anti-fouling on. We needed to prime the bottom before we could put on any anti-fouling. So this was the next big job before putting on the bowsprit and getting Taku in the water and ready to splash. I don't think we mentioned it, but we have been living aboard, so projects have been a little slower than we anticipated trying to live aboard and get things done. It is really hard to get things delivered to Mexico. Luckily, Puerto Penasco is so close to the US border, so we were able to drive and pick things up or have other cruisers pick stuff up for us just over the border. Curtis is an absolute trooper. He is sick today and he's still painting the bottom. <laughs> we need to splash. We've already pushed out our splash date. This is our third time pushing it out. And just like that, the bottom is pretty much done. Okay, so we've been in the boatyard for way longer than we thought we would be here for. It is, I think it's November 27th today, November 28th, and we got here on October 12th, so, I don't know, a month, just over a month. But we are splashing this week. We're splashing on Thursday, December 1st, so we are finishing up all of our last minute jobs. Curtis is putting the bowsprit back together, and then hopefully tomorrow we're gonna get it back up in its position. And yeah, we are like dying to get back in the water and uh, out of the city of Puerto Penasco. I mean, it's been, it's been all right, but we definitely miss just being out at anchor and living the cruise in life. Boatyard life is not for us. Is boatyard life for you? Prefer to sail. Nice to get stuff done now. Yeah. So I'm gonna go do some laundry and Curtis is gonna finish up the bath spread. I'm gonna take our little wagon here filled with tons of laundry. So the bath spread. Listen to Bob Marley. <laughs> so the bath spread is done, right? And it's ready to go on tomorrow. Yep, it's all ready to go. And we're splashing in like three days. Four. Oh. With only a few little jobs left to do, like cutting out a new foamy for our mattress and getting our chain back and remarking it. Smash the links that are all stuck together. We're almost ready to splash. Thank you so much for watching and don't forget to join us next time as we splash Taku and, well, run into some more last minute problems. He won't turn over, there's some issue with the ignition.